In our Shockwave Therapy Medical Center, we widely treat and relieve pain syndromes for spinal conditions such as acute pain, spinal curvature, protrusions, and intervertebral hernias. Thanks to Shockwave Therapy using equipment from the Swiss company Storz Medical, we have the ability to penetrate almost to the full depth of the muscular corset of the spinal column. When a protrusion or herniated disc occurs, the intervertebral nucleus bulges out in a certain direction. Because of this, pressure is exerted on the nerve root. With our procedure targeting this affected area, we improve the trophic nourishment of this part. As a result, there is a more significant restoration of the intervertebral disc and then there is a chance that this hernia will retract back, to put it simply, which will reduce the pressure on the nerve root. This, in turn, relieves the pain syndrome. Again, manual massage is just one type of treatment. You could say it's more of a preventive measure, but it's impossible to reach the deepest back muscles with your fingers. Thanks to our applicators, and again, due to the depth of penetration, we can break up these muscles, break up the dystrophic changes within them, which leads to a significant improvement in health. The company Storz Medical has developed the main treatment protocols for various diseases. This also applies to the treatment of the spine. Whether it's a pain syndrome in a certain area, protrusions, or intervertebral disc hernias. The approach to treatment is basically the same as with any other disease. We need to find the pronounced pain points that we should target with different applicators. Delivering a certain number of impulses to make the body start recovering, to break up these degenerative areas. Usually, we start the procedure using a gel, a standard medical one, to improve conductivity. In this case, we are working on the thoracic region. We have identified the pain points by palpation. And now, using a focused applicator, we will try to find those points that cannot be detected by palpation. For this, we work together with the patient. He tells us where the pain point is more pronounced, and we will focus on that spot. As you can see, the patient reacted, indicating there is a pain point. We found one. Later on, when working with other applicators, we will know exactly where we need to apply treatment. We also work on this side and paravertebrally along the entire spinal column. We do not use the focused radial applicator to deliver impacts. With the versatile vector applicator, however, we can effectively work across the entire treatment area. So, we've successfully finished the initial first course of the procedure, carefully identified the specific points that will significantly interest us moving forward, and now we start gently tapping along the entire thoracic region. It's quite tolerable, truly excellent. You can clearly notice a significant and visible difference in skin color where we just worked with the radial applicator. See how there's a distinct red stripe, which precisely indicates increased blood flow to the specific area of impact. The very same beneficial effect will appear on the other side. And the final crucial stage is that Using the versatile vector applicator, we can now work directly and precisely along the spinal column as well. Here, the degree of impact is completely different. 
This is absolutely not a contraindication. The use of shockwave therapy in the treatment of spinal diseases, whether it's severe pain syndrome, protrusions, or intervertebral hernias, offers an advantage over other methods because we have a more pronounced force of impact and depth of penetration, which can help reach deeper muscle layers. This is especially relevant for heavier patients and also in cases of severe or long-standing disease. We have a better chance of getting the patient back on their feet in the shortest possible time. So, it's best not to delay addressing your condition. Come to us for a consultation and we will select the right treatment for your specific illness.